by the laws of physics, you weren't even in Nigeria. And everything is a lie. Everything. There's a reason why. Um, there's a best. There's a reason why a lot of people probably trying to blame me for their own reason. I don't know why, but is a be- everybody can see is a lie. Like, like something happened to him on the day he was out. Why there people are trying to cover up some things? Like no, I said, no, no. So, um, uh, as this, you cannot say that everybody knows it's a lie. A lot of people are blaming you. In case you don't know, you've lost hundreds of thousands of followers of, on Instagram. So we need to clear the air. We need yeah, to that, clear the air that, with the truth. That, that's true. That the losing followers is not like anything to me right now. Like mobile is is late. It's not here anymore. That's a lot. That's more than. I would rather lose all my followers and have them here. You understand? My followers is not, is, that's a, that's a very small thing in this situation. It's very, very small. That's but my, to clear, to clear the hair is really, really important. And I believe, um, the Nigerian police are doing their job. I mean, the government agency, they're going to do their, they're doing their job and, um, the truth is going to come out. One thing has already come out. When you say the truth is going to come out, I mean, we've already begun to see oh, some... The whole truth, the whole yeah. truth is going to come out. Yeah, 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 no, but we've already began, began to see some truth coming out. Uh, the hospital, or I mean, I don't know if you could call it a hospital, let's say the clinic or the medical facility that he was taken to, uh, they said that he was brought in dead on arrival. But we do know that one of the young men around him, let's say essentially a group, he had said that he spoke with him while he was at the clinic and that he talked with him and he took a photo with him. But then this actually contradicts the story from the medical facility that he was brought in dead. Another thing that we do know is that the auxiliary nurse who actually injected him has been uh, repudiated by the Nursing Council of Nigeria saying that, you know, she wasn't registered. In this, essentially, she was a quack. You know, so we're beginning to see some of these things come, in, come to light. And, you know, I think in, in the coming days, you know, the opinion of the public might change. My question to you, Aziz, additional, Fashola, is this. Are you willing to go back to Nigeria if the Nigerian police wants to question you? Um, 100% that can guarantee my safety. Okay. Okay. Yes. Um, um, there's a lot of hungry mom that I don't really want to hurt. Not the truth. They've been poisoned by the media, you know, so they can guarantee my safety. I'll be there. That's a very reasonable uh, request. How did you meet this young man? Ilirio Lua, Oladimeji, Aloba. How did you meet him? Uh, I met him online. I met him by um, seeing his videos online, his freestyles, his songs, or the some when he just used some of my words, or when he just I just I've just been watching him online. You know, I sent him a message. Wow! And who gave him the name Mobad? Um, I don't know. That's the name I met him with. <laughs> we saw a video by, uh, would I say, a pastor. It's a 70 year old pastor. Whether he's 69, he's going to be 70. Pastor Tunde Bakari. And he said the reason why Mobad died was because he was hanging around bad people. What do you say to that? <sighs> If I have to start, that's, that's, that's the problem. That, that's what, I mean, like, that's what, that's a conversation. I don't know if you want to go into that conversation now. But I personally believe that he was actually stressed as much. He needed help. I believe he's been bullied. I believe he's, um, um, in whatever. There's people on his name. There's people all over him. That is in danger, but it's just not in danger from us. It's not in danger from me. If it's in danger from me, if anybody's scared of me, you will see nobody's gonna come out on videos doing all of this. I don't belong to any court whatsoever. I moved to Nigeria in like 2019 from England. I don't know what court is. Like I've been getting away from um from the courts in Nigeria. I've been running away. There's so many times they've in this Lagos. I've been getting away from it. I Actually, I'm actually anti cottis I'm against it because of so many times they've tried to 
forced me in it, but thank God they've never, they've never succeeded in doing it. So talking about that, I really think everybody that's acting like they're trying to help, they're not trying to help. I believe that they know a lot of things. People around them know a lot of things. I believe they know a lot of things because um, if they stop taking the conspiracy, if they stop directing the conspiracy my way, maybe people will see a lot of things. You know, I do understand maybe you're surrounding yourself with a lot of bad people, like a lot of cultists. And I can see from the way people are trying to cover up and the people that are coming up and the people that are sending money from the beginning and with the experience of what has happened around them. And we know there's, 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 a, I just hope the police will find out a lot of things, man.